There was two Kamaru members still up at the Lofoten Islands after I left and they were uh, keeping the lookout for this whaling vessel to see what he was really doing. And they didn't approach it because there was some hundred meters you have to stay away from the vessel and they did. They just kept the distance and looking at the vessel for a very long time. They didn't do anything but all of a sudden they looked into the water and uh, what they found was actually a uh, dorsal fin in the water. You will see now in the next clip, you will see a dorsal fin, hardly, in the next clip here. You can see a whale passing by, and then they try to look out for the whale. Try to see if they can see the whale. And yeah, they're talking about this whale, and uh, they look out for it. And all of a sudden, he spots another whale. So there are two whales. And uh, then they decided to act. Like starting the engines and follow the whales. Not for a second leave the whales alone. Make sure that the whales are safe with them. Because they're sure that the whales won't shoot if they are by the whales. So they stay with the whales. This is not an illegal act to stay with the whales. They keep with the whales, so they drive towards the, where the whales go. Always following the whales, without a doubt. Keep it with the whales, don't get them out of sight. So they waited for like 7 minutes. And there you can see the vessel is getting closer. They are approaching them. And uh, soon enough, the vessel was almost on top of them. And they told them to go away, but the answer was quite clear. No! So you see the activists are by the whalers. But the whalers approach them, because they want to kill the whales. It seems like the whalers just go towards them because they are where the whales are. And they just refuse to remove themselves. Because it would be cowardly to leave the whales there while the whalers are approaching. You don't do such thing. So yeah, they kept with the whales. Blocking a hunt is not illegal. The illegal act was to approach the whalers. The only thing we see here is them driving away from the whalers. And you can clearly see here that the whalers are turning in their direction. Shoot for helvete! They are filming, they are just shoot for fun! Yeah, but they have documented, they filmed the whole time here. They filmed with Brønsårdbøen also, so they filmed many times. The whalers do want to get them. And yes, they kept approaching them for a very long time. See, they are now turning towards them. They don't care that there are people there. But uh, after a while, you will see them drift off there and they gave up. And then they called up the Coast Guard instead. The Coast Guard gave the message over to the Norwegian police. And the local police went to the newspaper the day after and asked for people if they knew anyone driving this boat. It seems like the police is now on search for us. Although, clearly from the footage, you can see that it was the whalers breaking the law. They were the ones approaching. So in this case, they have nothing on us. And in this other news article that also was fitted in, in the newspaper, the whalers talk about that them putting themselves into a dangerous situation. But no, it was the whalers putting them into this situation. They were protecting the whales. They came to the whales first and they stayed with the whales. One of the whalers also said that he pitied them because they don't see the joy that they are enduring during the catch. Just because you don't have a psychotic adrenaline rush does not mean that you should pity someone because they are compassionate towards saving lives. And they also said in the article that this was a loss of 30,000 kroners. Well, 30,000 kroners. It kind of seems that this is not about the whaling itself, it's about economics. Now that you've seen our part of this story, 
you see that the whales are actually the outlaws. This message has to go across. And the importance is because we have to go up there every single year and we can't get convicted of anything. And I don't see why we would get convicted because we didn't do anything illegal.